Welcome back to the Deep Digger Sports Pod. I'm your host, Drew. My other host right over there. What's up? It's D. Good to see you again. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to drop some comments below and make sure you subscribe because we are coming down the home stretch here with college football. The weeks are just ticking by. LSU, Florida. <sighs> Why do we have to talk about this fucking game? Why do we have to talk about Brian Kelly still? Why is Brian Kelly still have a job when, with LSU? It is Okay, talk about it. I don't understand how you go out there and lay that egg if you're LSU. This is a team that looked dead in the water last week. Billy Napier has been fighting for his job. His, the fucking AD has to make a statement about Billy Napier's job every three days. Like, for you to go out there and lay this egg, and it just looked like you had no idea what you were doing as far as your own game plan. And on the other side of the ball, defensively, you let DJ Lagway just kind of, okay, like pick and choose, like pick you apart and do whatever you needed to do and just not look like a tough defense at all. And so I will sit here and eat my crow and I will say LSU was just like, um, they had, a, they were, a good looking girl at the bar and then you took her home and then you woke up in the morning and you're like, Ugh, what the fuck is this? That's LSU. Yep. And <laughs> yeah, LSU in this game was out coached, out schemed, out managed. They out effort. Like the quarterback play for LSU was atrocious. The, the getting to the line and just getting the play off was atrocious. Every snap they're getting one second to one second left in the play clock because they're they're confused they don't they're not getting the play call out and they're not getting the the protections out they they look so lost in such a late part of the season that and then Brian Kelly's on the sideline like confused at every play, fucking call from the refs and from the game going on they could have came back and won this game or at least tied it up in the end there's they got the ball, I think, with four minutes left, and there's there like four and a half minutes left. Yeah, they're like two minutes to get two or three plays off. They're just burning clock. It was getting ridiculous, like the mismanagement of the clock with a guy who should be he should be ahead of the, he should know what's going on. He he I don't know how he still has a job here at LSU. Yeah, and they managed both halves. The end of both halves, the first half and the second. And the first half was a little bit more egregious. I'm like, what are we doing here? I turn to you and I go, hey, they're burning so much fucking clock. And they just end up getting nothing out of it. Like both the first and the second half, they were completely mismanaged. And then I don't know what the game plan was. We were like, dang, uh, it seems like when they're getting the ball out quick, they're being very effective. Why don't they do that more? Instead, they were doing needless runs. The, Nussmeyer it was doing dumb shit the whole time, just running around the pocket, running into pressure rather than away from pressure, running into pressure, creating sacks for himself. Like I, you, that, you. I mean, yeah, he got sacked a bunch, but half of those sacks do not go on the offensive line. They go on Nussmeyer himself, and he played himself out. If the, you were even thinking about anything with the draft, I think he's played himself out. I know people were talking like, oh, he might be the fourth ranked quarterback. Cross him off your board. NFL, like anyone in NFL organizations, go ahead and cross him off your board. He just he couldn't, he couldn't get the ball even just out. I, and at the end of the game, I was like, I would even take you just throwing a pick here. Like, just get the ball out of your hand. He's holding on the ball forever. And then LSU, why can't you just roll with Durham? The whole game, the guy yeah. pops off the screen. He's explosive, but then you you have Josh Williams in there dropping passes left and right. Like, just make Durham the guy. Commit to him. Like, he has ninety yards. So, and then you have LSU receivers dropping passes. Nussmeyer can't hit an out route to save his life. He's holding the ball forever. He's running into t sacks. And all of that coming together with Brian Kelly just terribly managing this game. It was such an ugly performance for LSU in a game that they could have been in. And I think Lagway looks great. Like, Lagway is going to be a great quarterback next year. Yeah, I mean, sad to say, I mean, this saved Billy Napier's job. I know they had already come out and made statements. Hey, we are going to roll with this guy. 
they go out last week and then get boat raced after that. They're like, hey, hey, we, we're still going to roll with him. And then you get a win against LSU. And I think that's going to save his job. And I don't think that it should. I think that he should also be fired. Florida is settling for a guy just because, hey, DJ Lagway likes him. I, I think that DJ Lagway is going to be a fine quarterback, but that is kind of stupid just to do it, just to keep the status quo. But I know Florida has other shit going on as far as their basketball coach, and it's just a kind of disarray. So it I, is what I it will is. say this was more a LSU lost this game more so than Florida won it. I don't think that's that fair. I Florida did go out and, and kick their ass. Florida put it on them. Florida went out and got a bunch of sacks. They ended up doing stuff offensively, and LSU just didn't. They weren't in this game at all. So, yeah, Florida, you got to give them their credit where credit is due. They did beat them. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. All right, later.